Hello. Today is going to be a book talk, an exciting book talk on this book right here, Cinder. I've been hearing so much about the Lunar Chronicles, it's absolutely insane. I've heard the hype about this, I've also heard that it's overhyped, so I wanted to get a taste of it myself, or a read of it of myself, as I should say. Okay, so let me start this right. This is called Cinder, this is by Marissa Meyer, and I gave this 5 out of 5 stars. This book is so good, and I really do understand why this book is so hyped in the YA book world, especially if you love sci-fi. This is a retelling of the fairy tale Cinderella with a dark sci-fi twist to it. So we got cyborgs that are looked down upon in the society. We got androids, so we have little med droids that have medical care to people, and then we have like personal droids, which people own personal droids to do like stuff for them. And then of course we have a plague, which is killing people off left and right. As for the retelling part of Cinderella, it was a pretty good retelling, especially in the second half. In the first half of this book, I forgot a lot of the times that they were retelling the story of Cinderella until they mentioned the ball, which they didn't really mention a lot. But in the second half, a lot of the Cinderella storyline started to reveal itself, which I really like. As for the actual story itself, sci-fi lovers would freaking love this. And me, not even being the biggest sci-fi lover, I really enjoyed it. I really loved how creative the story was and all the twists and turns that happened in Cinder's life in such a small, short period of time. The main discovery at the end, however, was pretty predictable to me, but all the little twists and turns that happened in Cinder's life, like in the story itself weren't predictable, so I wasn't really bothered by the fact that the main thing was predictable. I loved all the characters in this book. Cinder is my homegirl, bro. I think she's very independent and strong and smart. She's really sarcastic, which I really like in a main character in the book, especially when I can understand their humor and sarcasm, like in the Little Beach Street Bakery. The main character was like trying to be sarcastic and it just wasn't working out and I was just like, uh, shut up. But this character, Cinder, she was sarcastic. She was like Percy Jackson sarcastic, where I just loved it and I thought it was so funny. I adore Prince Kai. I think he's one of the sweetest male characters I've ever read in a book before. Both the stepmother and Queen Lavana, I loved to hate. Both of these characters went 0 to 100 so quick so many times. And Aiko the android, I really really loved Aiko bro. Like I think that's how you pronounce her name, but yeah. Her personality just brought so much lightness to the story. And Peony, of course, which she's like the sweetest little dumpling. It was so good! Ah! Okay, such a big twist to Cinderella. I just finished this book last night, and today I had to grab the next book, Scarlet. So this is what I will be reading next. These covers are absolutely beautiful. Thank you guys so much for watching. Pretty sure I'm the last person on earth to read this book, but if you have read this book, let me know in the comments down below what you thought about it. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace!